So I'm in my guest bedroom now. If you see that messy bed behind me, please ignore it. Um, this is the guest bedroom and I haven't made it up since the last time my brother stayed with us. So I just uh, figured this would be the best setup. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is just wet down my hair, but um, I'm only gonna use the Aussie Instant Freeze Gel to refresh, but I did initially style with the TGIN Honey Whip Hydrating Mousse, but when I refresh, I like to use as little product as possible, so I'm just gonna like give myself a quick spray down. Ooh, that is cold. I'm still adjusting to this new camera. Um, I haven't played around with the settings that much. I've made like two videos on this, which I need to get to make in some more, but yeah, I don't know why I just haven't. I've just been lazy about that and not playing around with it. But I did get an external hard drive, which I'm super excited about, just because I don't have to worry about deleting a video to make another video, which can get really annoying. I'm gonna grab a little bit of gel and just, I'm not even separate my hair. I'm just gonna scrunch it all in. So I'm using, I don't know if you can see that, that much gel. And I'm just gonna like glaze over it. So I'm not gonna rake it through because that breaks up um, my curl clump, so I kind of just like fan it out, like grab as it falls. I feel like that's the easiest way to get every part of my hair coated. That looks good. I'm just gonna scrunch it. I'm not even gonna diffuse, I'm just gonna let it air dry. So that looks good to me. So I think I'm just gonna fold some laundry while my hair dries. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you want pets? So this is Willie, and he is seven, eight now? Seven or eight, and he's getting a little gray hairs around his face. See, all of this used to be black. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, am I embarrassing you? It's so funny how his personality is changing as he gets older. He's becoming like a little grouchy old man. So I want to give you guys a quick little tour of the house, um, just because I always like seeing people's houses. Um, I'm still straightening up a little bit, so that's the laundry right there, ignore that. That's what I'm about to do. I'm trying to tell Ray, so these pillows right here, don't think that we don't have any like kind of like matching skills, because I know they don't match, but they're from our guest bedroom, and we just need to get some more, and Ray's just like, no, no, they're fine, just leave them there. But I want to get some um, like cream colored pillows, but it's kind of hard because this guy sheds a lot and this is basically his couch. Oh, nice, Willie, you're just gonna lay on the clean laundry? Yeah. And these are my plants. And I just watered this guy so he's out of his basket here just because he um, has trouble like with root rot when I left him in there after watering him. So, we're not doing that again. Um, this is the kitchen area. And it's super clean because Ray came in this morning before work and cleaned it. Um, so I'm gonna flip us around here. So funny story on that. So we're both pretty even when it comes to chores, but we like the last couple of weeks, we like no one wanted to do the dishes. No one wanted to fold the laundry. So he came up with a really good deal. Um, so I am solely in charge of all of the laundry in the house. That means like folding, washing, hanging, everything. And he is completely in charge of cleaning the kitchen. So no matter who cooks, um, who cleaned last, he's cleaning the kitchen from now on, which I'm super happy about because honestly, I hate doing dishes. I'd so much rather do the laundry. So that's my pile that I'm about to tackle right now. And I think it was so funny, but it's working so well for us. is all the way dry and I just gathered um, this section here and I use this clip to secure it. We're about to head to I'm trying to decide if I'm going to H-E-B or Sprouts. I still don't know yet. H-E-B has better prices on like the fish and we want to do grilled salmon this week but Sprouts has better prices on produce. I might just go to both. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. <music> So we're gonna do H-E-B because I need to get some um, paper towels and some cleaning stuff. So I feel like Sprouts has been spoiling me because it's so small and so easy to get in and out. But 
we're gonna have to go through the crowd if there is one today. I'm crossing my fingers, there's not a huge one. busy it could have been worse but I just hate grocery shopping so I'm glad to be out of here I'm not gonna go to Sprouts today hi puppy you excited about home? So quick grocery haul here. We have thick cut bacon because we like to do BLTs during the week. We have some chicken breast, some salmon, and some ribeyes here, some black beans and corns. We're gonna make some ribeye bowls, um, some cilantro and poblanos. These are the only produce I got from H-E-B because Sprouts has been out like the last three times I went, which is super annoying. Um, Havarti cheese, Whataburger sausage because this is the best sausage there is, period and some crema for the bowls. We have some sourdough bread, bagels, eggs, honey bunches of oat, honey bunches of oats, and orange juice, and some milk. And that's pretty much it. We have some other boring stuff over here. Forgot the peanut butter, laundry detergent, and paper towels. Okay, so groceries are put up. Now it's time to edit. It's already past lunchtime, but I'm not hungry yet, so I'll probably make some um, food around three or so, like weird timing. I don't know, on the weekends, I never have a set schedule when I eat, so I'm just gonna edit until I get hungry, and I'm actually just editing a wedding video that I'm making for our mom because she recently got married, so um, putting that together. And then after this, I'm gonna just plan out my content for the rest of the week and respond to some brand emails that reached out for collaborations. I think I want to stick to doing like two a month. That way my like feed or channel doesn't feel too saturated with like ads or um, brand partnerships, but it has been nice um, to get like a second stream of income from YouTube. So the next video that I'm really excited to create, it's not actually about like hair because I know most of my videos are on curly hair routines and styles and products and all that stuff. But I want to show you guys my first two YouTube checks that I've gotten from monetizing my channel and just kind of explain how all of that works, um, kind of like how sponsorships work with brands as well. So um, not to like brag or anything on the money that I've gotten in, just to like in case any of you guys want to start a channel or have been curious on how this works, like as far as YouTube AdSense, which is how you get paid through YouTube itself um, and Google so I am excited to put that together for you guys. So I edit on iMovie for anyone that's wondering and it comes free on like your MacBook so if you have a MacBook you have it in here you can download it and it's completely free like editing software. I just feel like I'm not ready to purchase a professional like editing software just yet. I want to get some like more practice on my videos so this does the job for right now. A little family time. Oh, Willie. <laughs> Come on. Come on, dude. Real familiar with everybody. He only gets up when his dad comes home. Like, now he has all the energy. He was literally laying down doing nothing earlier. <gasps> what is she doing? So we're having wings tonight, and we have some guests over. You're not getting any wings, Willie, I'm sorry. So, if you can't tell, we're watching the Mavs tonight. Hopefully, they win. So, the Mavs lost tonight. Not a great ending, but I am just gonna go ahead and wash my face and get ready for bed. I am using the Aveeno Ultra Calming Foaming Cleanser Makeup Remover. Can't see that, it's kind of washed out. 
but I really like foaming cleansers just because it's I feel like it's so much easier to wash my face with those and then I'm finishing off with the CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion and then it's too bad because I go back to work tomorrow, but it's only a four day week. So I'm excited about that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.